Here we are at Sika in Winston-Salem, and I'm standing in front of James K. Sevier's Spanish Bath, which he executed in 2003, and which was also acquired by the Student Union Art Acquisitions Committee of Wake Forest in 2005. The photo behind me looks like a real-life photo inside of one of the famous Spanish baths in Sevilla, Spain. However, when taking a look at James K. Sabir's artistic process, viewers can see that this is actually a table-sized model, almost like a diorama, of a Spanish bath. And he s uses his camera to take miniature objects and put them on a massive scale. K. Sabir was inspired to pursue works like this, specifically ones that got at the intersections of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam um, around the Mediterranean, especially after the September 11th attacks, to try and recognize and fuse bridges between um, various religions and cultures and different histories of um, different parts of the Mediterranean. Wake Forest alumnus and Student Union Art Acquisition Committee member for the 2005 acquisition trip James Morell said this about the artwork. The work appealed to us because of the conceptual nature of the photograph. Quesabir photographs models in large scale, which makes the photo itself more of a real object than the subject. I particularly found that kind of gesture interesting because I was interested in the subjectivity in the world theory and art history. Other elements, the flooding, for example, and the emptiness of the space imply a narrative which again seems real and tragic or disconcerting, but is in fact entirely manipulated by the artist. Now that I look at the work again, I think it's interesting to think about all of this in the context of a much more digital world and a world where large scale images, etc., are more common. Certainly the work still speaks to what we know to be true, that images do not always reflect the truth, but can formulate a truth in and of themselves. Spanish Bath will be on display in the living room here at Sika until December. Make sure to stop by and check out this wonderful work from the Wake Forest Collection.